This is Stephen Hopkins. I'm the director of race. This is a shot that I uh, thought of originally when I first started thinking about the movie. I was trying to work out what it would feel like to be a 22-year-old African-American man in 1936 walking into the, the hostile gladiatorial arena that was the Olympic Stadium with 120,000 saluting possible Nazis, possible fascists, possible racists and trying to figure out how this guy kept his cool and stopped and didn't have a heart attack while he was waiting to go and race in the 100 meters final which was like the glamour event. It's a, it's a pivotal connecting scene in the whole film. I think it says a lot about Jesse Owens himself, the, the guy who kept his focus and, I, and I, it helped me understand him, you know, the kind of steel that he was forged from, from his tough life and, and the rage he had inside, which he you know, w w was harnessing to make this race his own. He was helped enormously by Larry Snyder, his trainer, you know, to, to focus and, and to run to win rather than run just to be free. It was a shot that we shot in a matter of hours. It's actually three connecting shots with, uh, with invisible cuts in, in a, in a stadium that we shot separately from the real shot. We shot actually in a, in a field in Montreal next to a sewage plant <laughs> and, uh, and replaced all the background. So Stefan is engaged in acting without anything to look at. I shot the Hitler box for real with those actors. The crowds we shot in, in different sections and, and put in later. Uh, I, I wanted to do it in one move because I didn't want it to, to, to feel like we were trying to show off how big everything was and how exciting it was. It's really about him. It's getting inside his head. The music does that. The sound does it. We don't do unnecessary cuts to people in the audience waiting to see what happens. We stay with Jesse the whole time and try and live with him. It's an unforgiving sport, sprinting. The 100 meters specifically is the most unrelenting uh, and unforgiving one. It's, it takes 10 seconds and you can't make a mistake. They're wearing shoes which were made of leather with no, and you couldn't wear socks. They wanted the actual leather to sort of meld into your skin and, 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 uh, and then basically it was, it was a piece of leather with six inch nails underneath. <laughs> it's like the most uncomfortable, terrible thing to run in. The track was made of ashes and, um, and grit. And uh, nowadays, if, if any of the Olympic runners ran on this, they wouldn't be hitting the, the speeds that uh, they are. You know, the, the real track in the Olympic Stadium now is made of special material. And these guys were, were doing something quite different, including digging their own <laughs> marks to, to take off in. You know, the, uh, the Olympic Stadium was invented for this. The Nazis uh, built this stadium to intimidate and to show off uh, how they saw the world. And if you look, look at any race, I watched a lot of Olympic races before this, it's amazing how the crowd automatically goes to silence before the races. If you watch any sporting event like this, it's extraordinary. And, you know, we, I wanted to try and get the audience to feel what it'd be like for your heart to, to be beating like this before the start of a race.